All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing in this session. So the first thing that I want you to do is open the Unity Hub. Once you have the Unity Hub, go ahead and click on New. We're going to create a new project. So this project is going to be called Unity Mobile LWRP VFX Graph. And then the version that I'm going to be using is 2018, that 1.0 F2, which is the one that just recently released and it has support to VFX with the low weight rendering pipeline. So then the location that I'm going to put this on, it's going to be, let's go ahead and change this to be, you know, where you want to place your game. So in my case, it's going to be personal games, and then I'll just put it right there. So you have two different options. You could start with the 3D template and then add the packages later. What I'm going to do in this session, I'm just going to select the lightweight rendering pipeline because that's going to give you all the packages that you need as far as you know the light rendering lightweight rendering pipeline is concerned and then any dependencies that that might have so I'm just going to select that and then just click on create project All right, guys, so it looks like the project got created. So let's go ahead and do a couple more things before we get started. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta change my layout as well. Just gonna go into my, or default. Excellent, and we have we have basically the lightweight rendering pipeline example. And I'm gonna be using this example for our demo. So what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna create a new game object and that game object is going to hold the visual effects component. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and click on Window. And then we're gonna go into the Package Manager. Then in the Package Manager, we can go ahead and install the Visual Effects Graph. So to do that, I'm going to click on Show Preview Packages. Then it's scroll down until we find Visual Effects Graph. And I'm gonna install the latest version. So if we look at all versions right now, the preview 513.0 is the latest. So let's go ahead and do that. And because I'm installing the latest version of the visual effects graph, I'm going to check also that the rendering pipeline has maybe has an update already and it looks like it does. So just to make sure they match, go, let's go ahead and install that one right after this one finishes. So we're going to update the lightweight rendering pipeline to 513.0. So it's importing packages and finishing up the installation of the visual effects graph. Excellent. So it looks like that's completed now. So now let's go ahead and update the lightweight to 513.0. Just gonna click on update. All right, guys, so it looks like everything installed for the lightweight rendering pipeline. We have the latest versions, which is 5.13.0 and we also have the latest version of Visual Effects Graph which is the preview of 5.13.0. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and close out of the package manager. And there's a couple of things that I want to show you that the template already did for us. So to do that let's go ahead and click on File, Build Settings and I'm going to click on Player Settings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the prior project settings as a tab here so we can focus on that area. So there's a couple of things that I did. If you go under graphics, you can see this is the process that you would normally do manually. If we weren't using the template, we would basically would need to right click on this, you know, anywhere in the project area and then create a, go into rendering and then create a, a new pipeline asset, then associate it with the graphics. So because we use the template, it automatically did that for you. So if you didn't want to do that, like I said, you can just right click here create and then rendering, lightweight rendering, and then pipeline asset, and then just give it a name that is, you know, that denotes that is the lightweight, lightweight rendering pipeline asset. And then you basically go into project settings, graphics, and then associate that with this option right here. So because we used the template, it automatically did that for us. So just wanted to let you know that that happened. The, the other thing that is really, really helpful and actually required for what we're gonna be doing and I haven't really seen documented yet, is that you need to change this VFX option to, instead of using the, the high HDRP, which is the high definition rendering pipeline, 
we need to change it to LWRP. So before I do that, I'm going to copy this path and I'm going to show you where that, you know, where that resides. And in fact, we can just click on reveal and that's going to take us there. So if you look in here, I was going to go into a terminal, but it actually opened the finder. But if you look in here, this is what, you know, Visual Effects Craft has as a, a supported component. Right now it has the HDRP, which is the one that we're looking at default. And then I don't really know what the legacy is. I would assume it's the legacy, basically the legacy rendering pipeline. So I'm gonna ignore that. But the one that we really need for this session, it's gonna be the LWRP, which you can see in here. So if we change this to LWRP, now by changing a tab, that should be changed. So that should be good to go there. So now the next thing that we need to do is now we can need, we need to focus on the scene view. And in the scene view, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a particle effect right here. So we're gonna get we're gonna go ahead and create an empty game object. And this one's gonna be called VFX. Then right after we do that, what I'm gonna do down here is I'm going to create a new folder. That new folder is gonna be called Visual Effects. In the visual effects folder, if we go into it, we're gonna create a new effect and we're gonna right click on it and then we're gonna go into visual effects and then we're gonna create a visual effects graph. So let's go ahead and create that and then let's just rename it to VFX. Right now that we have the VFX created, we need to go into the VFX game object, then click on a component. We're gonna add a new visual effect so then we need to associate what we just created, which is the VFX component with the visual effects. So that should get us going. So now if we double click on this, normally you can see the particles happening here. The reason why we don't see that is because we haven't created any particles. So what we need to do here is I'm gonna create a system that it automatically, Unity provides by default. So I'm gonna right click anywhere in this create area and then create node then system, and I'm gonna create a simple swarm particle system. That's really all we need to do. And if you're curious about what to do with Visual Effects Graph, I have a lot of videos. And in fact, I have a playlist that you can look at where I create a lot of different effects. So you can learn more about Visual Effects Graph by watching those videos. So now I'm gonna just close out of this. And you can see that by doing that, we are now seeing the, the effects. So, what I'm gonna be doing is, let's go ahead and move this out. And there's also too much lighting to be able to see what's happening here. It looks really cool, but I want to change, let's search for a sky in the project. And if I search for the sky, we can go ahead and change the, maybe the exposure a little bit. So I'm just gonna make it, it's gonna make it dark. So the exposure, I'm just gonna change it to zero. So now we can see, you know, the, the amazing particles showing and also rendering with the lightweight rendering pipeline which is awesome now if we go into game what we can do is we can change the camera so i'm going to change the camera view to be maybe that and then we can go into game object on the toolbar on the top align with view you can see that now the camera now the camera shows everything and if i click on this where it says free aspect and if you're using retina display then I can click on the you know remove the low resolution aspect ratio and now I can see more of a high definition high definition view we could in fact change the sky maybe maybe a little bit more I think I think I like it dark I was gonna say we can probably light it up a little bit or maybe maybe about 0 0.05 works and then we can resize this a tiny bit more and that should work that works perfectly so that's really all i wanted to show you guys if you guys have any questions let me know all right guys thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions let me know through the comments also don't forget to check out gamedev.net they have amazing resources for game developers that are either studying or have advanced experience in the field also don't forget to check out my patreon which i'm using to fund this channel basically i'm going to be looking for getting a video editor and that video editor professional is going to help me in editing the future videos so patreon is going to help me with that so thank you very much for watching guys